It is time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman. I'm Mark Zimmerman. I'm your visiting artist at Sanford Clinic and I'm here through the Sanford Arts Program. I just finished rolling a sheet of, or a thin layer of uh, black ink on this sheet of plexiglass. I'm going to drop a sheet of paper on top of that and do an ink transfer drawing. I'm going to transfer ink from the sheet of plexiglass to the face of this paper. The paper is face down on the ink. So what you're looking at is the back of the paper. And I'm going to draw or rub on the back, transferring ink to the front. And there's kind of a characteristic sort of fuzzy quality to the lines that transfer. And if I knew what I did with my pen, I would be in business. Ah. Okay. So I need to know where that ink is. It's inside a rectangle of tape. And I can feel the edge of that tape. Maybe. Where is it? There it is. Can't find it if I start outside it. Drag this along the edge of the tape and that tells me where that transfer drawing has to be created. Okay. All right, I'm looking at a little Little, um, little mailbox here. We're going to do the rural mail. And let's see if I can do this. So it's the U.S. mail. And we got a little or smaller box right here. These are all kind of twisty. I think we see the bit of a flag right here. That side is all pretty dark. And it is on a post. Drops down into some grass here. This post slants quite a lot. This one's pretty straight. Let's go back to the straight one. Straighter and in a big post. This one's on a slanting little post. Get some weeds down in here. I can transfer ink simply by touching the back of that paper with my finger, too. Maybe we should put the rest of this post in, huh? And... Looks like... Must be a little brace there, and it looks like a little brace here, too. I suppose that keeps them from tipping off their posts. There's our road, there's the little bit of grass. And then 
where there's not much in this photo I'm looking at, so I'm not going to draw a whole lot. Just a little landscape way out there. Little little fence line here. Drifting off into nothing. I think um, just a little wind in the sky and I think this can be just a little darker here and then we've got a pretty good shadow down here on this post And on this post, and on the ground back here, and the ground over here, and a little shadow here. I think this is going to be a really simple drawing. Um, Look, see if there are more details I want on this mailbox. I'm going to peek. I can pick this tape up, peek at the drawing. And see that maybe I want just a little transfer up in here. Let's peek again, see if that changes anything. I think the rest I'm going to do with color. So a very, very, very simple little drawing. And I'm going to get the ink out of here. You'll notice there's the photograph I was looking at. You'll notice that um, that it all comes out backwards. So I draw it right side up, or right left is left is left, right is right. But now the fence is over here. Instead, it's over here. I'll splash a little color on here. Um, Those mailboxes are kind of galvanized, I suppose, and they have a real bluish cast to them. Um, not that dark. Ooh, splattering and dripping. So I added a little water. And that lightens the watercolor. And a little blue to it, to it too. That's too much. So add a little water, tone it down a little bit. Got a nice brownish post here. Someone's been oiling that thing, or it's not that old. More of a rusty red post over here. I'm going to exaggerate the red for effect. A 
little orangish brownish gravel down in here Put some highlights on the grass. I'll put a little yellow highlight back in here too. Sneak a little blue shadow in on that grass in places. So nice thalo blue gives me a nice shadowy blue color. And I think I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. And put some of that phthalo blue out here on the in the distance. grass is actually green it must be summer nuts and it must not be late summer because I think this is the kind of this is the kind of country that kind of browns out by midsummer Oh, there's a lot of paint. Too much paint, you add water and just spread it out a little bit. Well, get back in the lines. <laughs> Good thing there are no points for staying in the lines, huh? There, now that yellow works as a highlight, the blue works as shadow. A little distant ridge out here, I don't think I want much color in. I'm just going to let it be. of a dull lightish brown so lightish brown means a little more water there's no white in my watercolor palette I'm just using water to make it more transparent to let the paper show through and that makes it lighter back to my big brush I think I'm going to just put a teeny bit of a sky in here. Just suggest that we've got a blue, sunny blue day. Let it be kind of light down along the horizon. Oh, 
Might be a little darker up in here. Oh, nice. having a tragedy over here. Let's get rid of some of this. Throwing my brushes everywhere. And then I think I want to lighten just a little bit in here too. Let that look like it's a little, a little cloud action going on, a little wind action going on, cloud and wind. Uh, I think I want a little more shadow down in here. And I think I'm going to blue, uh, use a little violet to darken the shadows on the mailboxes. got that purple in my brush I think I'll come up in here I want to just put a little light up here in the sky too. While I'm putting light on things, let's put a little light on the ridge too. go. I'll always sign them in pencil. So I'm going to call this the U.S. The U.S. Mail. Zimmerman, my name, and 2020, and that is that. These uh, should be sitting somewhere near where you're watching the video and you are welcome to help yourself to them. So if you enjoy the U.S. mail here or you see another one you like, um, you can watch the video of it being created and you can take it home with you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're uh, having a good day and you enjoyed watching uh, Ink Transfer Drawing. And until next time, bye-bye.